the vision that I have is to combine the concept of uno and art together through the creative funnel of painting. I recently was playing uno at a cookout and it was just a very intense game and it just made me realize that there's 50,000 ways to play uno and everyone has their own rules so it's kind of like this art on like how to win, how to play this game. Uno also tweeted this out which made me think like, okay, like there's, this is just, I've been lied to on how to play this game. So for this photo shoot, I'm making an outfit, I'm making shoes, I'm creating, I'm painting a canvas and I'm creating a whole set design. Here's a visual representation of what I want the outfit to look like. So I know I want the skirt to be like rows of the red, blue, and green uno cards. And then the top, I want to focus on all the draw fours and the wild cards. And then the sleeves, I want it to be the uno goals because they're smaller. There's like, 5,000 versions of Uno. So this Uno Go, order the regular size Uno, the jumbo size Uno. There aren't any draw fours in the Uno Go. Wait, hold on. Why isn't that? Oh, stop it. There's a plus one, a draw one. A draw one, really? Okay, so now I'm actually making the outfit. So you're seeing my drawing come to life. And what I do is I take this punch holer, like a, a hole puncher, and I put that in all four corners of the Uno cards. And then I have these little keychains that I use to tie them together. Now, sometimes I hole punch way too close to the edge of the card. So I just fix that with a little glob of hot glue and that fixes it for me. That happened actually a few times. So these are the Uno goals that I use as the sleeves. And I'm just trying to mark like where to put the hole puncher because it's not at the edge of the Uno card. Does that make sense? I'm like half in. So I was just trying to make sure I have the right precise hole punching technique so for the shoes i love these shoes i personally wear these shoes in like real life so i didn't want to mess them up with glue so i just use tape to tape on the uno cards and i use my favorite numbers i like seven and i like five i like five more than seven but those are my two favorite favorite numbers and i use that too for the shoes and for the skirt very simple it was just stapled together just like so this canvas, I'm turning into this red zero uno card. I'm gonna paint it to look exactly like that uno card to have it as a prop in a photo shoot. Here's what happened. When I was painting, I got really into it and I was more focused on finishing the painting than actually thinking of the concept of the photo shoot. And it would have been better if I didn't finish the painting because then it would have looked like, oh wait, she's actually painting a canvas, but I finished it. So I was trying to like make it look like I didn't finish it by adding this white glob of paint and then try to add some red onto it. But yeah. For the backdrop, I have my red curtains because I think curtains just scream, I'm a painter. In some kind of way and so i want to have as much props as i can use as possible so i took these two like little shelves that i used to hold my photography equipment i have these little paints that i'm just going to throw on the floor i'm going to add my paint brushes but they're in this mini mouse case i'm not going to use a mini mouse head i'm going to use just the brushes just this part i'm going to put this somewhere maybe like right there i got brushes i got paint I need this. I might open it. Yeah, I'm gonna open it for the photo shoot like that. I thought about ordering an actual like art, um, oof, what's the name? An art, an art, oh, an art easel. The easel that you put the canvas on so you could paint. But I thought this could work too. This is the, the backdrop stand slash holder for like a, a reflector. I think could hold the canvas as well. So we're gonna see. This is how the white spot looks. It looks like, it's okay, it's okay. Clamp it here, which is perfect. I just want it to come out a little. I need it to be like this. And I could have it slanted. This is fine. This is how a photographer paints, okay? Oh. And I have this as well. This is so cute. I never use one of these. This makes me feel like I'm an actual painter. Like this is official. My vision is to scatter this giant Uno all over the floor. First of all, I cannot wait to use these actually. I wanna actually play Uno with this. Stop, see this is, this. first of all, look. Look at this draw four. 
there's symbols, stars, circles, squares, triangles. There's new rules to this. So that's what I'm saying. There's new rules for every Uno that you purchase. See the camera, the big Uno looks more visually appealing. You can actually see it compared to if I use this normal size Uno. This is the outfit. Okay, I'm gonna show the back because of course the back is never done because this is the only way how I know to stitch it up. So I have string here, I have string all over here. I don't even know what's going on in the back. I have no idea what's happening. All I know is that I have keychains, like keychains changed the game for me in my outfits. So I just keychain the ends and then I loop it with string, like see? Then I just tie it. That's just what I do. And then I have some string up here. You could see some glue, right? Because this fell apart while I was shooting. So I had to glue it back and the glue does wonders. That's like a little hack that I do, but that really works. My shoes were probably the most annoying because my shoes, they just kept falling off. I don't even know where they are. I cannot find them. This space is not that big, but I don't know where they went. So that's gonna have to be a Photoshop job because this shoe just kept falling off. But this shoe, they all stayed on. They all stayed on for this shoe. This was the prop that I used. Right now the paint is dry, so this was perfect. So it wasn't dripping all over the place. I had on a different wig earlier than now I have on this wig. Um, and like, it's not even, I tried to cut it into a bob. My hair, okay, let me tell you the story. I, I have a pixie cut. I, you know, I have a short hair cut. And I like to do everything DIY, not just my photo shoots. I just like to do my own nails, own hair, like that's just own makeup. I just, I just like to do stuff on my own. And I tried to cut my hair with, um, I tried to cut my hair with clippers, cause just to shape it up. And I, I gave myself three patches. So I would not be wearing my hair out until it has grown out. So these wigs are just gonna have to do. I mean, this wig doesn't even fit my head. Look, look, look. It doesn't even fit but i made it work actually i cut the bob with clippers look at the back i don't even know i don't know what's going on in the back i just know like the front is presentable what changed it for me for this photo shoot was using my intervalometer that changed everything for me this shoot took about like an hour and a half that was it usually these shoots take me about three hours because i'm always like using my trigger and i'm pressing the button looking at the picture look you press you know but my intervalometer, so it's like this thing that like, where is it? This is the intervalometer. You hook it up to your camera, and then you press, you could tell it to take a picture every three seconds, or take 10 pictures every three seconds, and that's what I did. It's, some cameras already have this installed, like it's already programmed in the camera, but my camera doesn't have an internal intervalometer. They're really used for um, time lapses, but I'm using it for self-portraits, and it's just changed. I'm so thankful that I've, I have figured this out because while I was shooting, see how this card is a draw too? This card is a yellow. This is it, the yellow five. That was supposed to be, oh my goodness. The yellow five fell off my shoe and I meant to put it back on, but instead I wasn't thinking I put it, but overall everything came out great. Everything came out great i mentioned that my wig does not fit and obviously that would show up in camera and it did this is what it looks like so the left is how it looks like in camera and then the right is obviously is photoshopped and i knew i had to figure this out i'm not very familiar with like wig photoshopping because i i cut my hair off so i've been wearing like a lot of natural hair but i had to figure this out because this looks absolutely ridiculous but this just goes to show like even if a wig doesn't fit or like something doesn't work out in your photo shoot doesn't mean you just like give up and be like oh my gosh i can't do it but like there's always ways to finesse things so that they work out even if it looks like it's not gonna work out so yeah life tip